I've investigated many dark locations across Britain, but this place tops them all. The events that took place here seven years ago affected me physically and mentally, and this investigation is seven years in the making. So every single person watching this right now, and all the spirits here in this location, we are back at the ancient Ram Inn, Gloucestershire. It's time to face the demons. We have entered some of the darkest, most haunted locations around the world. Places where many others are too scared to enter. There's an overwhelming sense of fear all over me right now. Oh. With nothing more than our cameras and equipment, we documented our experiences onto video. This is what we captured, and it Scare completely me. blew our minds. You just heard that one, didn't you? Yeah, I heard that you one. You just flipping heard that one, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> that was not me, David. That was not me. We need to just get out of here now. We need to get out. We are the Haunted Finders. First time I've been back in the bishop's room for seven years. It's where it all happened with my mum. David's gonna explain a bit about that day because I don't like talking about it. So let's go in there now. Ooh, cheap on a mate. Sorry about that. Hate this room. Fucking hate this place. This is where it all happened. I was sat here in this chair. Uh, my mum was over here on this bed. Here. And it was just horrible. I'll let David explain exactly like what, what actually happened, but it all happened here, it all happened in this room. It all happened after something came walking down the corridor that we've just walked down and banged three times on that door. John jumped up, who was with us at the time. He opened the door. We thought it was uh, John, the owner. There was nobody there, nobody upstairs. John was downstairs. And after that, things just went like crazy, absolutely crazy. And uh, it feels very weird, very strange being back in this room. So I'm getting that feeling again where I had to walk out earlier. I'm down here on my own in the uh, barn area at the ancient Ram Inn. Um, we've been here for 20 minutes, 20 minutes. What was that? You can hear them walking about the stairs but something was just thrown here. We're having things thrown already. You would have seen the GoPro footage already. Things are kicking off. Um, I, I, I don't feel very well, I feel strange, I've been nervous for three days, I've been nervous driving through the village when I saw the building, I just felt ill, I'm here now, I feel like something's watching me, I feel like something's going to happen, um, I feel like I'm waiting for something to happen, um, something knows, it knows that we're back, and it doesn't like that we're back. I'm in a cold sweat, I'm not hot, I'm, I'm freezing but I'm sweating, I've got palpitations in my chest. I feel like I'm being targeted by something. The others are, the others are upstairs doing a tour at the moment um, and I think I need to leave the building. I think I need to get out. To get out of a minute. Oh, God. I can't breathe. 
breathe. Guys, I need to get out of this building. There's something evil in this building. It's been seven years since I've been back and it knows I'm back. It knows I'm here. Just look at the police. Just look at it literally hell house the house of hell this place is pure evil <sighs> I am so terrified right now not just that it's walking just through the threshold of this door behind me just walking through there Walking into that atmosphere again after seven years, it's just hit me. After what happened seven years ago, we literally upped and left and have I haven't entered this building since then. And it just feels, it's just that same, same feeling. Same feeling of something there right behind you there's something affecting me mentally right now i need to clear my head and i need to try and just stay strong um, for this investigation oh my god i need a break are you kev Feels a bit, yeah, I feel a bit, I don't know, knees. I feel like there's something, something they, something they like us being here, I'm telling you now. Something does not like us being here. So we're in the uh, Bishop's room, David, where obviously everything happened last time, seven years ago. Can you just explain like a bit about it and what actually happened? Right, yeah, it was about seven years ago. This is the actual bed. Um, my wife sat on the bed but previous to that she was downstairs and she provoked she said if there's anything here bring it on and then when we got up here um, my son John was sitting next to her and she just had this feeling to go buh, 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 in her head at first buh, buh. and she started laughing because she couldn't control it and, it, and she was going buh, 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 buh. Uh, but, and then it was getting more intense and then she flipped back on the bed scared the life after me and then the burr 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 turned into growls like it was horrible it, and then um, Tom you came and get, got rid of it didn't you it's um, yeah yeah. It, I don't think it was human and uh, ever since then I've been a bit weary about coming back here and especially in this room. That's basically what happened. I think it was uh, a partial possession going into a proper one, you know. How were you feeling in the police cab? strange. First time I felt strange at a place when you walk when you, as soon as you come to it. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely something to hear. You was obviously downstairs when we had that thing thrown as well. Yeah, it was def that toy was definitely solid on the shelf. And it looks like it was on the floor. So it's, yeah, something's here. What we're going to do now is um, why it's still not dark it's very dark actually in the bishop's room where we are now I'm going to run a couple of EVPs this is obviously where it all happened and we'll see if anything wants to come and talk we'll see if anything's here with us we all feel like something's watching us and something's following us I don't feel myself I feel quite ill 
um, I'm constantly sweating and I keep getting palpitations. I think even Kev, you feel funny. You've had strange feelings as well, haven't you? Um, so we're going to see what happens. We're running EVP and uh, we're here in the bishop's room. I remember that person, well, that thing banging on that door. Yeah, I remember it. Yeah. The three bangs, that's just before it all happened as well. It was trying, trying to get in, wasn't it? Mm. I, think, I think we invited yeah. in my when we opened the door. We should have just left the door. I don't want it. I don't want it to come in, would it? Take over. Come on. Yeah. I'm going to call out. Is anybody here? Or anything here that can hear my voice? I've had strange feelings on the run up to this investigation. I know that you know we were coming. I know you've been waiting. So come on, do something. Throw something. Make a noise. Growl. Use your voice. Come on, do something now. Can you make a loud bang in the area where you are in this building? Show us that you're here. We already know. You're around us. We've heard you. You've thrown things. We've seen you. You've been affecting us. Do something. What was that knock in there? Did you hear the knock? It was two knocks. Was that from this door? It was over there, Tom. Someone there. Did you just hear that? Did you just flipping hear that, any of you, when I opened somebody that door? Outside. No! As I opened the no! As I opened the door, something went <sighs> towards me. Was that was not outside, that was as I opened the door to see who was there because them two taps sound like they came from that door. Now you've let it in. Oh, God, did you hear it, Kev? It's something like that. It was like a. Yeah, like, yeah. Help. No. Bang twice on the ceiling. There was two knocks on the door as well. Which ceiling? Was it like this? No. Are you alright down there? Oh god, no. <sighs> somebody, somebody definitely, or something went <sighs> in my face. We've got to do we need to look back on that footage, that, that wasn't very nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, was, it sounded like them two knocks were like on that door, that's why I opened it. And then the as I went again. through... The door again. Need to be on guard. Who's out here? Shut the door on him. Are you in the room now? Are you in here with us? If you're stuck in the room, make a noise and we'll let you out again. If you're in this room with us right now, that was me, I was hit my head on that thing. Come over to me. Make these lights go up. Oh, I've not this thing up here. Show us that you're here now. If that was you that did that growly hiss, do it again. Is that you? That's someone that's followed me in back into the room, that is. Yeah. Have you followed me back into this room? Stop the lights now. Stopped it. 
Set them back off again if that was you that followed me in. Wow. Oh my god. Told you, didn't I? There's something outside that door. Will you stop, please? Stop. Are you good? Light the lights up if you're good. Are you evil? Light the lights up. Are you a little boy? Do you not, not do you not want to know do you not want us to know who you are? David, there's somebody moving around down the corridor. <laughs> somebody just grabbed me arm. What? What? Somebody just grabbed went like that. I heard someone moving Kev down the corridor just before that. I heard a click. I heard like a what the hell's going off? Oh, Where did it grab grabbed you? Where did it grab you on your on your wrist? There's no mark. Is that, is it, no, it was like, <sighs> like its hand went round you. Like that. It wasn't. That's the hand that the thing you was in as well. The EMF. I want aggressive, but it just gave me a shit. I heard somebody walking down that corridor just before, just before. Just before I heard a couple of creaks. Yeah, just before that happened, someone yeah. was walking down that corridor. Can you come back? Let me do it. Let me sit down again. Maybe it was walking. I'm not going to go up there. I've got EMFs right now. Sat down with me. See it. Come on then. You, you touch me again. I keep getting the feeling that someone's outside that door. Watching us. Yeah. Are you with me now? Not just I said that, it starts going off. Yeah. Are you with me now? I told you, did I? Stop, please. Is that the just stop the lights for a minute. Good, thank you. Did you put your hand around my wrist? Was it you? Are you here with me now? But before it's the like EMF spike started, and before you got some bit grab you, like there was something out there. It's like something's scared to come in this room. It won't come past here. Yeah, but is it something good that's scared? Yeah. And maybe it grabbed you to try and pull you out because there's something evil in here with us, and it's trying to get us away. Because yeah. this is where it all happened last it time. It didn't feel like. Is it some? Is it another spirit like trying to help and trying to get you out of the room before something bad happens? Maybe. It didn't feel like a big hand. Like, is it James? Oh. Yeah. Can you hold it on red? If it was James. Are you scared to come in the room? Light the lights up for a yes, please. Are you scared of something that's in this room? How do you feel in here now, Kev? A child's <laughs> like a Did laugh. You Did you hear that child's I laugh? Did. Yeah. I was just about to say something, and there was a child's laugh. Like that teddy bear. Yeah. That was behind me and Kev. It was like a <laughs> right teddy behind bear. us. That was right behind us, Kev, near this fireplace. Thanks. Oh, yeah, hot. I've got goosebumps. Hairs are standing up. Oh, there's a standing up. Was that you just coming that, that was a child's laugh right here behind us. 
Oh, I'm getting really creeped out here. I need to. I need a teddy bear in here and go out for a bit. Where's the teddy bear? The teddy bear's downstairs. Yeah, teddy bear. Do you want us to leave the teddy bear for you to play with? Yeah? yeah. Was that you laughing? Take Make it, it to, go red, please. Yeah, take it to red if that was you we heard. Was you he, was he giggling? It could have been something pretending to be a kid there because yeah, you're the one that's mentioned the kid. Nothing else has mentioned a kid, so no. it could be something bad so, pretending to be a kid to draw you in because you think yeah. there's a kid here. Yeah, Do you getting, know what I mean? It's getting my emotions going. I think there's something messing here. They're very tricky. That children's giggle has creeped me out because it was right behind me and Kev. Right behind us, that it's was. All using a, a child's. What's that? Spirit box in here. We'll come back here later when it's dark and do a yeah. spirit box. I think. Yeah, teddy Let's go downstairs and get the teddy box. We can set that up. Yeah. And we'll come back up here when it's dark. Let's go. Thank you. Anyway. It's time to leave that room. We'll have to come back up there when it's dark. There's something in there I think that's pretending to be a child and I don't like that at all. Please don't be the thing that was here before. So we've obviously just come down from the bishop's room. What did you see was happening, Carol? Well, I was looking at the monitors while you were upstairs and um, I heard you say, come on, do something. And as soon as you said that, Camera two, which is overlooking John's couch, where this he was one here asleep, is it. Switched off and then went back on again, and it's been malfunctioning ever since, switching on and off and crackling. Whether there's anything wrong with the camera, I'm not sure, but it just seemed really odd that it should do that when you were actually shouting yeah. out. You heard something as well, didn't you? Was it yes, there? I heard two thuds, and I did shout upstairs and say yeah. somebody banged on the door. Uh, or on the ceiling and you said no no not at all but it was like a heavy thud yeah the only thing not we david banged on was the wardrobe it says the copiers but it did that and then you says it didn't sound like no, that no it didn't sound yeah. like that it sounded like really heavy stomps on like the a like a like a yeah deep yes definitely yeah. heavy heavy stomps. yeah yeah so ooh, interesting it's kicking off already <laughs> it's kicking off already yeah. it's not even dark yet <laughs> What's up with you, David? You seem a bit strange. Uh, I like somebody following me about. After that, grab me arm. Yeah. I feel like there's somebody. You know, with you? Following me, doing everything up. I haven't really felt anything bad down here while I've been on my own. As no. I said, it was just as soon as I heard Tom say, um, has anything um, come on, make something happen, that's when the camera switched off. Weird, really weird. And ever since then, it's been switching on has and off all the time. Has anybody walked through that? Has anybody come, come <laughs> past some curtains? No, but when you were standing in here, I don't quite know what you're saying, I couldn't hear you, yeah. but you were all like grouped there. There was uh, an orb that, quite a few orbs that came up and went across. I thought it might be dust. I'm that not area sure. there where you just said the yeah, orbs came yeah, from was where we heard the well, child's well, laugh well, as well. Nobody go past the camera, really. No, I, I tell you what though, I did fast. see a massive slow moving orb, a really big one, and it was at 2036, so you might be able to right, yeah. play that back and, and check it out. But it's a really big orb and it slowly moved across, which to me I don't think that was an insect or dust. Right. Yeah, so it might be worth so Kev, that Kev one thought out. he saw in the bishop's room somebody that would have had to have been at That's least cool. seven foot plus. Walk past those curtains. Which, Which curtains do you? Talking about? It would have been these curtains here where we were just in. Yeah, yeah, yeah these yeah. ones. That where Tom Finger was, it's just it like walked in a black. It was a dark black figure. Walk past, dead slow. Mm. There's been a lot of orbs in this one. Um, really bright lights. Um, there's no movement in there. Nobody's been in there. No, so whether dust. or not they're insects, uh, I can't imagine it being dust because it's not been disturbed. Nobody's gone in there quite a few bright slow moving orbs in that one which Tom might be able to see when he plays it all back that's been pretty quiet but yeah that was really weird when yeah. he shouted out 
um, and then it switched off and went back on again and it's been malfunctioning ever since but now you're down here it's, it's fine it's stopped you see i've just kept an eye on it and it hasn't gone off once no i know but it has been doing yeah. it a lot honestly you, well, you you might be able to tell when you when you play it all back but that's never happened um, before so yeah. that's quite interesting well, uh, yeah, no. i'm not taking no chances Downstairs. I've come into the bishop's room, just me and Carol, and uh, we're going to try and face whatever's in here. Um, I don't like it in here at all. This is where it all happened when we had to leave. I don't like it. I get a horrible fear every time I'm in here. I just feel like something's all around me and watching. It does feel very heavy in the mm. atmosphere, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Right, the EMF meters on the bed were all kicked off last time. Yeah, that's right where she was sitting as well. Was it really? Wow. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can get some action down. I'm sure I'll like, sit on this little chair here then. The okay. last time we were here, mm. <gasps> David? 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 They're I thought David was outside of me then. Really? Oh my god. I thought David was outside of me. Do you know when sometimes, <laughs> right? Do you know sometimes when David's outside of you, he does this like, um, you can and hear him like, does. do you know that breathe? Mm -hmm. Right? Something just did that right to the right side of me. I thought David had come in. Oh my god! Oh god, well, oh god that scared me. I was just about to try and call right. out whatever it was. Oh god, that was right next to me. Whatever that it was who breathed in Tom's ear, can you come towards me and do it to me, please? I know you're here. I know you've been waiting for us to come back. The last time we was here, you know what you did? You tried to possess my mum. We upped and left very quickly. And for some reason, I've always felt like something's been drawing me back. So come on. I know you're around me, I just heard you. We've heard you in here earlier, pretending to be a child. I don't believe that I was a child. So come and do something. Come and do something around us. Come and show yourself to us, please. Tom's waited a long time to come back here. Now's your chance to show us that you're here. Tell us who you are, please. I'm going to do a quick recording and see if I can pick up any voices. Tell me who you are. Tell me who did that last time I was here. Is there something evil? in this room are you over here? this is where you did what you did did you just laugh Carol? did you just laugh Carol? No. you didn't just laugh? no definitely not no are you sure? positive I just heard something go, <laughs> like a whispery line, I don't like that at all. It's just where I said this is where you did it. And I was pointing at the where it happened and then I heard a, <laughs> it sounded like it came from behind me though. No, honestly I didn't, I've just stood here completely quiet. Oh 
my god. Oh. <laughs> this is where he did what he did. She lost Carol. He didn't defend her anything on there. It sounded like he came from behind me, like in between me and you. Like a. It's twice that's happened to you while we've been in here, then. You've heard something in your ear. He obviously wants to draw attention to. to I'm, getting there, so I'm getting there, I'm getting there, Oh, God. It, it's obviously you that he wants to draw attention to, because I think it's. I'm the one that I'm the one back. that got rid of it though. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. I'm getting really bad palpitations and I'm getting goosebumps all up my back. I feel like it's looking over my shoulder. <laughs> oh my god, this I can feel something. You remember me, don't you? I have. You remember oh. me? I know you remember me. Come on, you show yourself to us. Oh my god, there's something. Oh, there's something right on my back. There's something right on my back. Who is it who's bothering Tom? Who is it who's on Tom's back? I got rid of you last time, didn't I? You didn't like that. I can tell you didn't like that. Have you been waiting? Come on, stop sneaking around and show yourself, please. Come on. Oh, it's gotten really heavy. It's gotten very cold as well. There's something waiting something, to happen. Something moving around us. Yeah, there is. But I don't Come on, know. where are you going? What is it you want from us? Are you hiding? Is that what you're doing? If you want to tell us anything, now's your chance. We know you're in here. What are you gonna what are you gonna do now? What was that? I don't know, did you hear that? It sounded like a laugh. Yeah, a laugh. I that's told you that's the went, third <laughs> time. <laughs> yeah, it was from behind me. <laughs> it's in this in that corner. Yeah, there. something keeps laughing. <laughs> Keeps oh, laughing. Come on, you can do more than that, surely. I'm hoping that was caught on the camera as well. I hope so, but I definitely heard something. That's three laughs I've heard now. Come on then, is that all you can do? Walk around hiding laughing? Is that it? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Did you hear that? I didn't. That was a long laugh. That was a long <laughs> laugh, wasn't it? From that car. That again. was a long that was a long like a <laughs> wasn't it? it was. Oh my it's not just me hearing it, is no, it? No, no, I did hear that. I did, yeah, yeah. Well <laughs> flipping out. What is it you're laughing at exactly? Can you please show yourself to us? It's just cowardly, just laughing at us. If that's all you can do. Come on. We're here, we're calling you out. That's exactly what my mum did. Yeah, we are I'm calling Just you out. Just before you did what you did. So come on. If you're here hiding, laughing, you think it's funny. Come and do it again. Let's see if you can. Because I bet you can't. I know you're here, I know you're watching, I'm not scared of you. Come on, show yourself.
last time we was here, you banged on that door. Again, then, please. There's something just seems to be watching us, mm. waiting for something to happen, um, which I don't like because that's what we had last time. I just don't like this room at all. And I keep getting these horrible pains and palpitations in my chest all over. I'm just quickly rolling on the camera because I've just opened the door and I've, I've just had a really strange feeling like something's going to happen. Um, I'm just rolling on the camera just in case something does. Oh god, I don't like this. I don't like it. I've got a really, really bad feeling. David! Can you and Kev just come to the top of the stairs a minute? Come to the top of the stairs a minute! Yes, quickly. Please, it's um, it's a bit much up here at the moment. You know, I don't like this. Can you feel something? Too? Yeah, what a really bad feeling. Just tell me when you're near the door towards the bishop's room. Are you here yet? We're here now. So, hi. I don't know, I've got a really bad feeling. Outside this door, I didn't want to, I didn't want to come out of the room. Not being nice in there. <sighs> Been out. <laughs> um. I was had a really bad feeling. What do you mean? Just, just, yeah. just a bad feeling. Did you get any voice? Man? We've had someone get laughing. We've had laughs from the corner in where the bed is. Um, Tom's had something blowing in his ear, and twice. Yeah. And he felt like there was something in between us, didn't you? Yeah. It was. It's just. Um, it wasn't nice in there at all. There's something waiting to do something. And we said we yeah. think it's going to pick on the most vulnerable. And you, who's that? I think it might be you, Dave. Mm. Every time I mentioned your name and picking on you, yeah, the K2 spike. It kept spiking to red every time I mentioned your name. Every time I wasn't talking about you, it wouldn't go off. It's just that. So every time I mentioned picking on someone, I think it's going to pick on David. It'll go off. What's he going to do then? I don't know. I but I didn't dare come out of that room. I opened the door and then there was just this really strong feeling not to walk like something was saying saying to me, Don't 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 walk out of the room. That's why I shouted you. I just felt like something was saying, Don't come out. Whatever you do, don't come out of the room. So I just didn't come out. I didn't dare come out. We, I said that I thought that it was waiting for the most vulnerable because it was, it's building its energy, whatever it is. And we, it's just that I said to Tom, I think I've noticed that Dave isn't quite himself tonight. Because did you come upon your own? A bit weary. Yeah. It was, yeah. A, it was after we was in here. Mm. Yeah. So I, I think that's probably what it is, the most vulnerable person might be you tonight, Dave. Mm. A bit subdued, a bit quiet. Like it was after he was in here. Oh, it Some was after he was in here, yeah. Touching itself to him or, yeah. you know. So me and Carol were just saying, when I was up here earlier with David, David was act been acting very strange. He was acting really strange up here. And obviously Carol was just saying that it's as if something's building up 
and that they're going to pick on the most vulnerable one. And I've got a feeling that that could be David because mm. he has been acting strange. He has. Um, He's not his normal self tonight, is he? No, and I've just actually mentioned that when I wasn't filming and the K2 went up when I mentioned David's name. Yeah. I don't know, I just, I just think... I think something could happen. Mm. And I think it could be... Could go for David. Yeah, look, 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 look. When I just said it could go for David. Wow, it's doing it again. Look. Yeah. You're going to go for David, aren't you? I knew it. Probably best you don't tell David that. <laughs> <coughs> How are you feeling now? Still feeling oh, a bit. I'm, I feel a bit weird. A bit anxious still. I feel like I'm not here. You know what I mean? Mm. That sort of feeling. What do you mean not here? No, I don't really think it's a good idea for you to be on your own in this room. No, I'm not going to. Be. I don't think you should be on your own anywhere in this building tonight because. I think the yeah. results we were getting from this makes it pretty clear that whatever it is, so, uh, it's got it in for you. Is it in here? <laughs> in here, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Upstairs now in the room that's known as the witch's room. Um, a lot of times, uh, people used to come in here and just mess about with the Ouija boards, opening doorways. People think that there's some kind of demonic entity that was brought in through a portal caused by one of those um, sort of a Ouija board seances that people used to do. So we're going to call out, do some spirit box in here, see if we can gain some communication, and then carry on investigating throughout the building. One point four. Five. Come on, Em. Wow. We're not. We're not here to hurt you, honestly. We will help you. You help us. Yeah. Six. Seven. Come on, Em. Honestly, eight. Okay. That's it. Keep taking it up to one. Can you do that? Two more. Honestly, we're not here to hurt you one bit. We appreciate what you're doing. Is that fine? Taking it back down again then. Come back to us. Please. Thank you. And again. Can you take it to eight? Can you take it back up? Please take it back up. Please come back. Can you take it back up? Thank you. Are you happy here? Take it up to, to eight. Say yes. Seven. That's it, keep it going. Keep going up. Use my energy. Are you standing next to us? Yes. Are you that little child? Take it to eight if you are. You do it. Seven. You take it to eight if you're a child. Thank you. You take it to nine. One more. Aya. Go on. Just for me. Thank you. Can you make it to ten? Thank you. Eleven. Take it to eleven. Go on. Go on. Take it to eleven. One more. Use my energy. Come on. I'm not here to hurt you, girl. Oh boy. No, you're going now. Dropping dirt. Oh, that's amazing, that. Thank you, anyway. You can come back any time tonight while we're here. We will not harm you.
Are there any children buried in the grounds anywhere? One. One. One? Did you say one? Is that child at peace? Just name yourself. Right, so we're about to end our investigation here at the Ancient Ram Inn. It's been a crazy night from start to finish. Footsteps, strange laughing, crazy EMF spikes, we've heard loads of weird noises, a lot of things we've experienced tonight has really really creeped us out and it's definitely a location that we will never forget.